Okay folks, um, I'm going to do a little tutorial on how I do this transfer printing uh, which I have used to do the fabric from Molly Mark um, and then that took me ages and whatever blah 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 um, but I'm just going to do like a little quick thing That'll do. Um, so for transfer printing um, this method um very importantly it only works really on polyester fabric um like 100 percent synthetic polyester fabric and you need a specific dye um which is which is specifically dispersed dyes which are used for polyester you know, you might know them from dyeing synthetic wigs and stuff. Um, and I, I get mine from um, a company called Chemtex or Regency in England. I don't think they're actually operational at the moment because of the, the Rooney. Um, but these, these are dyes and, you know, you can use them in water just as dyes. Um, and, you know, there's a whole method for that. But for this, Basically, what you do, you take a little bit of the dye. These are also, important to note, these are quite toxic. So, um, when, you're, when you're using them and measuring them out, you always want to like have a face covering and you're supposed to have like a fume cover, but I don't. So I just kind of go into the corner and try not to breathe whenever I'm measuring them out. Where was I before the noises outside happened? Oh yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so these are kind of dangerous-ish. Some of the pigments are like actually more dangerous than others. Um, but once they're in liquid solution, they're fine to work with. And like you can just, I mean, you're not gonna fucking drink the stuff. Um, but um, you can just basically use them like watercolors um, and paint on any piece of paper, really. Um, and just paint whatever. Um, whenever you're doing it, the color you know, this colour turns out to be this red colour and stuff. And this will turn out a really bright yellow. So you need to like test and actually use them in alignment to get specific colours. But you know, once once you have that, you can just kind of paint with them, really. Um, any paper, I've been using really thin newsprint for Molly because I know it kind of looks a little bit shit. <laughs> um, you know, proper paper will hold it like really sharp edges and watercolour, um, but something thinner like newsprint will be much more watercolory. Um, you know, just do a painting, really. Um, and you know, obviously you can mix them and all that stuff. I also prefer newsprint because it's thinner, so it's easier to get the iron, like to get the amount of heat that you need to do the transferring, whereas thicker paper is obviously thicker. And um, you know, the kind of the heat has to get through that paper. So yeah, just do a pattern. Um. fabric. Always got to be 100% polyester. I've got my iron heated. And then um, this stuff kind of gets everywhere. Um, you know this is the earlier on I was doing some stuff on Molly and I just I painted a wee crescent and then ironed that on. And then, you know, the, the dye from the fabric 
transfer it back onto the paper and stuff. So like, it just kind of gets everywhere. My iron at this point is like slightly red from doing all of Molly. Like literally, it's going pink. I don't know how, it's just, I don't know why it's going pink. Um, but you know, the stuff kind of gets everywhere. You're, you're, so you don't want to get any of this dye on your normal ironing surface because that's going to get onto like other garments you iron on. And usually you would want to like, you got your transfer and then you'd want to put more newsprint on top of it to protect your, your iron. Um, I have a dedicated dirty stuff iron so I don't bother with all that. Um, I just, fabric, print. Um, the waiting time is... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> in the industry, this stuff is called sublimination printing, um, and they have like these huge dedicated heat presses, and you would usually set that timer for like 30 seconds or something, or like sometimes even 12 seconds. Um, but I kind of just push it and then hope that I don't set the paper on fire or melt my fabric, which usually I don't. Yeah, cool. There's transfer and then that's printed you can rinse that out it's not going to come out um, and then you can you know you can just keep using this you can re-transfer stuff um, important to note that if you if you have writing in your design that's going to come up backwards it's like woodcut printing or etching printing or like most forms of printmaking it comes out backwards um, eventually your transfer is going to run out of pigment. See, that's kind of run out already. Like I've got one colourful thing and then the other bits aren't really coming out. So that's kind of that done. I've got my other one on the thicker paper. Yeah, so if you've got writing, you're going to need to write it backwards. Um, that's kind of it, really. Um, I have nothing else to really tell you. Have fun doing your transfer printing. Yeah, that's it. Those are just in the fabric now forever and ever.